Hey guys, welcome back to Lavender. It's Eileen. So you probably know that I've created something called the Artist of Life Workbook. I've talked about it so much on this channel. Hopefully you know about it. So today I wanted to share the vlog of my journey to creating and just shipping and getting this workbook out. I just want to show like the behind the scenes of the business side of things. And I was just going to make this like a normal vlog, but I realized I have a lot of like holes in my vlogs because I'm not good at thinking to vlog sometimes. So I thought it'd be better if I just narrate it like this. So I actually launched the Artist of Life workbook for the first time in November 2016. It was November or December, and it launched as a digital PDF workbook. That was it. And I got a lot of of, um, people asking for a print version so I scrambled and I made a very small sample size of print workbooks for the 2017 Artist of Life workbook so that version will hold a very special place in my heart because it was the time that I took like a big leap anyway that first print workbook was kind of an afterthought like I didn't put so much effort or planning ahead in creating that so it just came out really really last minute like delivered in like late January or February of 2017 so for 2018's version of the workbook I was like okay this year I've done it before I know how to do it better this time I'm gonna start a lot earlier and so after gathering feedback around August was when I started to actively work on the next version of the workbook so in August that's when I went shopping for journals that I liked found like the colors that I liked the materials that I liked the papers that I liked and I sent that to my manufacturer but yeah, in like August and September, I was really working on like completely redesigning the workbook, just making it a lot better than it was last year and designing it in color because the first version was just black and white. So the second version was like prettier and the exercises were more refined. I added more. So yeah, I was really proud of my design for that one. So fast forward a little bit, I finally get the first sample of the Artist of Life workbook and immediately upon like seeing that first first sample I was like oh my god the cover is so bad because the font was too small it was aligned to the sides but I realized that with books you have to align it to the fold so I had to just redo the front design and in the book I think I just found a couple typos and fixed that for the next versions I also didn't love the material from the first sample so I asked them to give me some other options of materials so then I waited a few weeks maybe like a month for the second sample to arrive and the second samples they I don't know why they sent me so much maybe it's because so you have to pay like $600 each time you get a sample made just because they have to like they have to recreate that mold for the gold foiling of the cover I don't know it's just basically an expensive process but I was like I have to see a sample before I you know pick the final product so they created all these samples and i have a lot of extra covers by the way if you guys want one for some apparent reason let me know i could send some to you so here's the point where i was sorting through the second round of samples i'm kind of confused why they sent me so many different covers oh i don't know how i feel about this right now it's too thick so this is before, I thought it was a little too small and it's not like debossed so I made it bigger but I think I made it too big. Oh, the struggles. And it's kind of hard to catch. The Upon seeing the second round of samples, I realized that I made the font a little too big. It just looked too overwhelming on the cover. At this point in time, we were cutting it real close. There was no time to have another round of samples made, sent to me, and then me to decide yes or no if I like that sample. Then go into final production so I just basically shrunk the design of the font a little bit so it was like bigger font than the first sample smaller font than the second sample I just hoped that the happy medium would be perfect so I had like a small version a big version and then I was like okay hopefully the next version will work and I didn't have time to see it before it was printed I was just like Let's just hope this goes well. So that third cover design was the final version that you see on all of your Artist of Life workbooks. So at this point, I have these samples that I'm supposed to shoot with to promote the Artist of Life workbook. Because if I were to wait for the final version of the Artist of Life workbook to be done and sent to me, I would ha have had to wait until Christmas. And there was no way I was going to wait till Christmas to get the books, then take photos, and then sell it 
because it was too late. It was already New Year. So I was cutting it real close. So I had to have a photo shoot with the sample workbooks. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the photos and videos promoting the workbook that I shot with Karen, the cover design is actually slightly bigger than the actual version of the Artist of Life workbook. And the reason was because we had no time to wait for the final one to be made. We just had to shoot with something. So you can imagine me at this point, like I'm super nervous, I'm super, frustrated and I was just very not confident in my product. I'm like, oh, I don't think it looks good. I, I don't think it just doesn't meet my standards of like how good I want it to be. But I already booked a date for the photo shoot with Karen and I was like, I'm just gonna show up with these books and see what we can do. And luckily, like honestly, I'm saved by Karen Rosalie because she made the workbooks look so good. She is like a flat leg queen and everything about her aesthetic is soft, dreamy, beautiful, girly, feminine, floral, like everything that I love. And so I feel like thanks to Karen, she brought my workbook to life. Like she really brought my vision to life. She went above and beyond anything that I could have expected of the workbook. And honestly guys, the highlight of this whole workbook journey was that day having a photo shoot with Karen because we're just two creative friends working together like getting excited about creating pretty things together and that was so fun also because for me I'm like oh this is not the final version like it's not gonna look right and then Karen's like uh, girl I know how to do Photoshop I can make it smaller if you want and so I'm like oh my god I forgot that you could Photoshop photos and Karen is like a whiz at Photoshop I'm used to like videos and in videos you can't really Really like change images like what you see is what you get in a video but with Photoshop thankfully you can like edit things so it let me show you this photo right here where there's like three workbooks the workbook numbers are actually photoshopped they were essentially different sample types and we just made it look like the the one sample that was the best looking sample after the photo shoot i was literally like high on life i was so excited i was so happy and like a few days after that i was working on creating the pages for my shop so i stayed up all night to like wrap things up finish everything make sure it looks good so it's about 12 15 a.m right now and i literally spent the entire day um, working on my website, working on like the product pages for the digital workbook, print workbook, and the mastermind. And I didn't realize that it would take me this long. It took me like all day basically. When in my head, I was like, I could do it in like three or four hours. So I wanted to do my launch today, but I mean, it's way past the time that I wanted to launch. And you know what? It's okay because now that it's night, it's kind of this like quiet time where. I feel like I can breathe again like this whole day I was just been like you know stuck on my computer but uh, I just wanted to capture this moment because I don't know I'm just excited because it turned out so pretty okay maybe I don't have the energy to do like a lively vlog right now because I've just been like zoned in <sighs> and then I launched it in the morning and then I went to bed and then when I woke up and I wish I vlogged this, but I was too in a nightmare state to vlog it. But when I woke up, like my website basically was down, everything crashed. Like once I sent that like first email blast to the soft launch people, my website was maybe up for like three or four hours before it crashed because of like the traffic and who knows what. So yeah, after launching my site, people were trying to buy the workbook and yet it continually was crashing and you guys who were there experiencing it, you get it. It was frustrating for everybody, okay? And I wish that no one had to deal with things like that, but technical issues are a part of reality. And so like I spent like a whole week with like two different web developers and like working with tech support with my hosting provider. It's boring, boring background stuff, okay? Brushing over that whole chaotic scenario, I have a friend named Lynette who was organizing an event called a vision board soiree where she was bringing like a few influencer friends there to make vision boards. And she asked me like, hey Eileen, can I buy some of your workbooks or promote some of your workbooks to the influencers there at that event? And I was like, oh my God, yes. So because the workbook was still in production at that point, I basically paid extra to tell them to just like 
finish the first 40 workbooks and airship it to me like ASAP so I can make it in time for this event. Okay, unboxing this for the first time. This is the final workbook. Okay, here's the final product, the final workbook. Opening it for the first time. All right, binding looks good. Colors pretty good. I was afraid of love. I tell him at you, I felt the magic when I met you in my heart. So good, so different. You don't need to pretend. So the event was a success and it was so nice to see people like hold my workbook in their hands and look at it and say like wow this looks so pretty this looks high quality like it just felt so amazing it was definitely like I felt like I won that day you know like I accomplished something and I was really proud of myself so today I'm back at the office I'm wrapping the influencer workbook so I ordered like a special batch to send to like my influencer friends and stuff By the way, on over there, we're dealing with a shipping problem. So right now there's a problem like connecting my website orders with their shipping software. And so I guess it's a good thing that we didn't get the workbooks today because then I'd be even more anxious that we have the workbooks but can't ship them yet because of this issue. So we got to work on this issue. It's already like 5 p.m. and it's like Christmas basically. So yeah, working overtime. So after that event was waiting for the actual actual shipment of the workbook so that I could prepare to like send them out to you guys ASAP. Keep in mind that this was like a week before Christmas where we were expecting to receive the workbooks to ship out and I'm just gonna let the videos speak for themselves. Y'all, hey I'm back at the office for the third day in a row and we're expecting the workbooks to come today. I know, like basically the plane was delayed three times and it is the week of the holidays so I know what I've learned this week is shipping can be really unreliable like they'll tell you it they told you it was gonna come Monday and then they said it would come Wednesday and now it's Friday and the guy says he's stuck at the airport and he's gonna come here by 6 or 7 p.m. and it's Friday before Christmas so anyway good news is we did figure out the issue on why my website wasn't connecting with their shipping software so I don't know. I feel like at every step of the way there's like a problem or something goes wrong and then you have to figure out how to fix it and you just deal with it and that's life. That's business. <laughs> By the way, my brother's here. <laughs> so I picked him up from the airport yesterday and he came with me. <laughs> looks so great. Okay, so we got a call from them saying the shipment will come at 10 p.m. today so we're just gonna just wait till tomorrow to do everything because no one's gonna be packing orders at 10 p.m. here but it's fine I think the workbooks are gonna go out whenever they're meant to go out and there's not much that I can do at this point except wait and then tomorrow morning which is Saturday the Saturday before Christmas I'm gonna come here with my boyfriend and we're both gonna work on shipping these workbooks hopefully I can find people to help <laughs> So holiday season equals a ton of delays and it's not that I didn't expect it, it's that like I started earlier but because of all the mistakes and errors with the samples, I think I really just like pushed it to the limit just because I wanted the cover to look so good. And so what happened was in one week, our air shipment got delayed three times. So what happens is like you're supposed to send something on the plane but another company, a bigger company like Apple who's trying to sell iPhones during the holidays as well they take up all the space and so your small shipment gets pushed back to the next plane or on the next day and this happened three times where we got pushed back and back because I'm sure a ton of other much bigger companies have much more important products to sell during Christmas 
But yeah, so that happened and Saturday morning was the time we finally got the workbooks arrived at the office and Saturday is a difficult day because the post office closes early around like 1 or 2 p.m. So that morning I asked my mom and my brother to come to the office to help me package as many workbooks as we could. So we did our best. We might have finished like three to four hundred workbooks, packaged them and then delivered them to the post office just before it closed. So that was the Saturday before Christmas. Four boxes in the trunk and then four boxes in the back seat. We're at the post office, we just finished uh, unloading all of these boxes and that is the truck, <laughs> the last truck of today to ship them out. So we made it! Dumped as many workbooks as we could. Merry Christmas! It's actually Christmas and we weren't planning to come in today but Wilson wanted to come in to do some work for just a couple hours so I came with him so I could just package some workbooks by myself. So after Christmas, people came back to work so we finally got help on packaging and shipping the workbooks. At that point, we were pushed back because of the delays and we were just doing our very best to catch up but it was just a chaotic few weeks just shipping out that like first huge chunk of workbooks. As you can imagine, we had to deal with a lot of angry customers and I felt really bad that I couldn't deliver early before Christmas or just like as expected. And so it was just a whirlwind because we definitely like didn't expect so many workbook orders. I There was one time where one customer email was so like long, personal, and hurtful that I genuinely felt really, really, really bad and really disappointed in myself that I just, I mean, I'll just show you a few clips. Today I got like the angriest, angriest um, customer email saying that it's unacceptable, all these shipping delays, and it's supposed to be a New Year workbook, but it's shipped after New Year's. And basically, I, I, I think what really sucks is like the person was genuinely hurt and said that it looks horrible on Lavendaire's part and my part. It's bad PR, which I understand. Yes, it sucks when customers are mad at you, and yes, I personally feel bad, but it's I, I'm trying to be as perfect as I can but when you're just starting out and when you're just learning you're not gonna be perfect and you shouldn't let that scare you from trying because you ha this is what I've said before and I'll say it again you have to be willing to suck you have to be willing to suck in the beginning if you're starting out as a business owner you you kind of have to take this shit you have to be willing to make mistakes in order to learn from them and I've made a lot of mistakes this year and I've learned a lot I've learned that I have to start a lot lot earlier in planning this workbook shout out to Justin and Alice who have been helping us work on these orders from the fulfilling side and the customer service side I, it's been a whirlwind and it's not easy guys but I'm definitely thankful because my problem is a good problem we had many more orders than I ever ever predicted let me tell you guys this is a long rant but my original order of workbooks this year was 500 I thought I did I wasn't even sure if I could sell 500 and then right before I started selling it I my confidence got boosted and I was like I think I could sell a thousand so I made a, an order of 1,000 pieces and when I launched I think about like 200 or 300 people bought it in one day and then I think it was during those first couple days after launch when I'm like, oh my god, I might need more than a thousand. So I ordered another thousand and that's why these shipments came like separately. And then somewhere along down the line, I was like, oh my god, I don't think two thousand is enough. <laughs> so I had to order another thousand. And guys, when I set my goals for the workbook this year, my biggest goal like my minimum goal was I want to sell 200 workbooks and my biggest goal my reach goal was I want to sell 800 workbooks and we've sold over 2,000 so it's like I didn't expect this it's definitely like I'm so grateful that it's above and beyond everything I expected but with that success comes a lot of problems and issues and just with a greater number of customers you have a greater number of angry customers a greater number of like problems coming up so we can do it. Even if someone hates me, it's part of my learning and it's part of my growth. The failure is part of my journey. 
it can make you teeter totter when you get messages like this because on one hand you know that you have to keep going no matter what on the other hand when people like are so upset makes you want to cry and give up because on the insecure side it makes you feel like should i even try but on the bright side obviously people want to keep buying this thing so you're gonna have to learn how to give it to them but i genuinely feel i feel bad and i feel sorry to who? to the customers who expected better of me because i i if it were my ideal world obviously i tried to do everything like perfect I want everything to be high quality. All my content, all my videos, the delivery, the customer service, I want everything to be high quality. Yes, yes. And that's what everyone strives to be. Everyone strives to be high quality, but I think you just have to learn to be okay with sucking and be okay with the, the transition and the journey and the in the middle part. The learning how to get there. And even though sometimes you want to give up, you just have to suck it up and you just do it anyway, even if people hate you. In the end, this whole experience was a whirlwind. There were highs, there were lows, there were a lot of things that were unexpected and I definitely learned a lot and I'm learning how to better manage like a large amount of orders and hire people to help with like customer service and shipping, all the stuff that is completely new to me. So I'm learning and it's a process, but at the end of the day, I'm super proud of what I've created and my favorite part really is the creating part Part and the photo shoot like creating something beautiful creating something that can actually help people in their lives and I'm I'm really grateful and proud to say that I've created something that adds value because I truly believe in my workbook I truly believe in the mastermind program and that it really genuinely helps people's lives and that's the best part of it the best part is at the end of the day I believe in this product and I'm so proud sometimes I can't believe that I made this thing like it was hard I procrastinated it took a lot of like just over years of learning these exercises putting it all together making it look good so much of creating a product is just like incremental steps of of improvement so yeah I don't know it's a journey and I'm grateful to be here and I hope that this sheds some light on the behind the scenes of starting a business running some an online business selling something there's a lot that you don't see on social media even though it might look really pretty on the outside it might be like a completely different story on the other side so I, I mean what I want to tell you guys is just to be empathetic to everybody who's trying to do something anyone who's making an effort to do something they're trying their best so be empathetic about that don't put people down don't judge others because when you do that it just makes people want to quit or it's just putting negative vibes out there so so just be more thoughtful be more compassionate and empathetic and this is how i see other people too like now i'm a lot more forgiving to businesses and i'm a lot more forgiving to just people in general because i realize that everyone's doing their best and it's things are not easy you you learn as you go that's just life so i hope you enjoyed this if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and i'll do my best to answer them in some future videos and stuff but yeah check out the artist of life workbook if you haven't already love you all so much and i'll see you next time bye